Hi everyone, in this video, we're taking a look at when to brew tea in Celadon. If you're interested in premium tea, make sure to subscribe to our channel for new videos like this one each week. Traditional Celadon teaware is famed for its beautiful range of colorful glazes and its unique web of crackler that often runs through the surface. We have other videos all about Celadon and the range of glazes available. But in this video, we'll focus more on Celadon's functionality and when to use it for brewing tea. Thanks to its thick glaze, Celadon is similar to Yixin clay since it has much better heat retention compared to other materials like glass and porcelain. This is similar to cast iron versus typical stainless steel cookware. However, unlike Yixin clay, which is unglazed and porous, Celadon teaware is typically glazed on the interior or otherwise crafted from denser clay so it won't alter the taste of your tea. For this reason, we like to pair Celadon with tea styles that require higher brewing temperature and also possess more delicate aromatic flavors. Two great examples of this are Phoenix Oolong and Black Tea. Both styles usually offer their best taste when brewed at high temperature. Because both teas are often very aromatic and complex, brewing in Celadon will preserve the original taste of the tea while still allowing you to maintain a high temperature. Phoenix Oolongs are especially suited for brewing in Celadon since they are prone to strong tannins if brewed for too long. By pre-warming our teaware before brewing, Celadon allows us to keep the temperature as hot as possible so we can infuse quickly and extract flavor before astringency is released. Of course, Celadon is not limited to brewing black tea and Phoenix Oolong. It can also be used with great result for any tea style. To learn more about teaware, visit redblossomtea.com. Make sure you leave a like and comment below if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future videos.